Hey everyone, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. It is me, Mr. Mario. Anyways, what am I commentating over? What? I'm actually playing a multiplayer game? Yes, in case you don't recognize this, this is Halo 3, one of my all-time favorite multiplayer games. And this was filmed, what, um, it was Sunday, so I think three nights ago now. Um, so it's pretty new. This was Team BRs on Boundless. And um, what happened was my friend came over, and my friend, um, I went to high school with him, but he was actually a pro player. Uh, yes, he did play Halo 3 uh, professionally. Uh, that's a whole other story, and uh, if anybody wants to hear that, I'd be more than happy to try and get a hold of him to see if he'd be willing to do a commentary, and that's going to be probably 20, 30 minutes on itself, because we talked about it, it was very fun, but... You know, the end, we talked about this for like an hour and a half, maybe, and he was like, you know, man, I want to play some Halo. You got some Halo? And I said, yeah, I got Halo. I got all the games. Pick your poison. So uh, it was me. This is me, Mr. Mario 2011, and uh, if you see Terrace Fames, that's my side account. He was playing on there. Uh, anyways, I've been playing some games recently. I've been playing some multiplayer games. Let's see. I've been playing Halo 3. Uh, that was just one night, but uh, it was pretty fun. I also found some funny videos on my file share, uh, but that's another thing. And, um, let's see, one of my friends, she's really into zombie games, uh, and she, I don't know if she played Left 4 Dead or not, but, uh, there, I got a killing spree, so I wasn't doing too bad. This was, uh, this was ranked as well, uh, and I think this was us playing after about two hours, so we still weren't really that good, but we were decent by now. I also get the MVP in this, just saying. But yeah, my friend, like, we've been playing Left 4 Dead whenever she comes over, and that game's very fun. Uh, I actually might do a video on that, just because, um, I loaded some mods onto there, and it was pretty fun to mess around with. Uh, nothing too big. I think the only thing that's missing, really, that'd be nice to have is invincibility. But anyways, what am I talking about? Uh, I was playing this Sunday, and I, I, I'm telling you guys, this is the most fun. This game right here, and just the games I was playing on Halo, even though we were bad, this was the most fun that I have had on online gaming in a while. I, I, I don't remember the last time. Maybe it was because I was with a friend, but you know, my buddy was over, and uh, it was just, we had so much fun with this, and I was just, you know... Like, I was yelling, not, like, in anger or anything. I was just, like, yelling, like, calling out my moves and all that. And he was doing it, too. We were laughing, cracking jokes, all that stuff. And, you know, playing this and also playing Left 4 Dead and some other games, it just made me realize, you know, I also played Call of Duty 4. I played Call of Duty 4 on my PS3. Playing all those games has made me realize that 2007, 2008, to me, this was the pinnacle of gaming for me. This was just, uh, it didn't get any better. That was where gaming plateaued, in my opinion. Uh, am I saying that right? I hope I am. The reason why I'm saying this is because, I mean, I remember I got my Xbox 360 in 2007, summer of 2007, and I got it. I was excited for Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 4. Halo 3 came out. This game completely blew me away. Now, the only people that didn't like Halo 3, I noticed, were the people that were hardcore into Halo 2, but even they warmed up to Halo 3. I mean, sure, there was a graphics boost, but it was on new hardware. It was running at a faster frames a second. It had the eater mode, which is how I recorded this footage. Uh, what else did it have? And it, it made it very good for MLG as well. It had Forge, had a wonderful campaign. Uh, Bungie was always on top of uh, multiplayer, like, you know, hacks, mods, any of that stuff, they still are. The ban hammer is amazing, and Activision, I don't know why you don't do this. The reason why the older Call of Duty games get hacked up, and Activision and all those companies can't really seem to do anything to fix it, is because they say that there was no security implemented built in. However, they issued a ban hammer on Halo 3 with a patch. And Halo 3 came out before Call of Duty 4, so I want to know what's going on there. This game is still well maintained, and it plays wonderfully. Call of Duty 4, that was another good game. That is actually my all-time favorite multiplayer game. Yes, and that is the only Call of Duty that I like, to be honest. I love the campaign on there, I love the multiplayer, and uh, I notice, you know, g playing Halo 3, I wish Halo 3 had a kill cam. Playing Call of Duty 4, I wish that had the eater mode, but you know, you get what you can, that's just how it is. And I remember these games, they were fresh, this was 2007, now yes they were sequels, but Call of Duty 4, it, w it completely broke down barriers, and it completely redefined console gaming, in my opinion. Um, just how, you know, everything's going to play. I mean, there were prestigious, all this stuff, and in a way, it almost ruined shooting games. Uh, I didn't think of it like that, but my friend pointed out to me, he said, ever since Call of Duty 4 came out, what happened? 
every shooter wants to be Call of Duty 4. Every shooter rips off Call of Duty. Remember when Call of Duty ripped off Call of Duty? That's called World at War. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, I, I absolutely love that game, and this is another one of these games that I love. And even in 2008, you know, Left 4 Dead came out. That was an amazing game. I still play that to this day. The first one, I don't play the second one as much. Although the second one, it has more features and it is cleaner, I still prefer, prefer the first one. And Gears of War 2 also came out in 2008. I mean, there were some good games coming out, and I'm sure I'm missing many titles, but this is where it got for me. And Halo 3, this is where I had a lot of my Xbox Live memories, to be honest. And you might be saying, memories on Xbox Live, that's stupid. Well, yes, it is stupid. I mean, you gotta realize, this is when I was 14, 15 years old, and I didn't really have that much of a life. I mean, Halo 3, this was the game I woke up at 3.55 in the morning for, so I could turn on my Xbox, and my friends and I, we'd all get into party chats, or um, just some type of chat, or we'd get into a lobby, and I'd be the only one who could talk properly. Everybody else was so tired, they were just mumbling their words, they weren't saying anything properly, but we were waiting for new maps, we were waiting for new playlists, all this stuff. And, um, you know, I, I, I really want to get my friend here so he could just do a whole commentary over his MLG Pro stuff because, I mean, it, it's astonishing, you guys. I mean, tell, I, I'm telling you, this is something you might want to hear. But anyways, this game right here, this is the game that made me fall in love with online shooting games. And even though I don't play them as much anymore, I mean, this game is still incredibly fun. But I noticed, you know, after 2008, I never really saw anything big. It's like Halo Reach... Whoop de doo. Um, and I know I'm only citing a few games here, but you know, the, these are just console games that I was playing at the time. Uh, Gears of War 3, what difference is there compared to Gears 2? Like, I like Gears 2 more than Gears 3. Um, then there's all these other games like Left 4 Dead 2, you know, good game, but like, I personally prefer the first one. I should probably play the second one more because it is a better game, but like, Mall Warfare 2, Black Ops, Mall Warfare 3, what's the big deal there? Even World at War, that came out in 2008, but I completely despise that game. Um, but it was just, the, I stopped seeing originality. And that's why I think that even though these games are sequels, the ones that came out in 2007, 2008, and even though Left 4 Dead, you know, maybe it wasn't the most original idea, it was some that people jumped on. Also, this game, it had file share, it had all this stuff, it had stuff that PC has had for years, and it was brought to console for the first time. And I'm looking at this footage right now, and this game's from 2007, and to me, it still looks good. It's, it's just a good series, I like it. Um, but you know, that's... If, if it makes any sense, that's it, going out with this commentary. In my opinion, you know, 2007, 2008 didn't get any better. Uh, that's the best gaming was for me, to be honest, uh, just online and just offline-wise. Best games were coming out at that time, and I, I haven't faced a year that's been better, to be honest. Haven't seen any big games that have stuck out. It's like, sure, there's been some good titles like Heavy Rain, good titles here and there, but uh, anything to make it stick out for the year? Not to me. Anyways, that's it. Mr. Mario took the MVP on here. I'm signing off. Thank you all for watching, you guys. Let me know what you think you're, with your opinions on here. Um, drop a comment or something. Love to see them. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. These hoes are trying to cut, no time, just give me brain Lot of money I'm spending, bitch, I go inside My niggas all riding for European banks And shit ain't been the same since that ballin' beat Sauce about it, not only bitches follow me